Hey hey, Izzy Noodles back again with Emerald Dreams. And right now we're on the way to the last level. So after we came out the level we've just come from, uh, we are in the first level, the intersecting level called Dreams. Ooh, controls are all over the place today. So you're coming to the fork in the road and you want to find the way that does not have a door. Is that it? Is that not a door? So if you remember from the first video there was a random receptacle that we couldn't use. We thought we could but we couldn't. But now we can. We've picked up the item that is called Dreams. And every time I've played this so far yeah, it's, it's booked out and told me that this is called Load. <laughs> it's called Dreams and this is where it goes. Now if you remember, every time you uh, exit a level you come out up the side. So now we are going it into the side, just here. So you're just making your way up. It's a bit of a trek up, <laughs> up to the top. <laughs> So you think you're going to have boulder traps as well because of all the slopes, but you don't. Just trying to keep you on your toes. The flying dikes must be destroyed. I will guide you to them. Excellent. Follow me through the dark cave and you will be saved. So we finally got some words from George, he has finally spoken. So we want to make our way in here and when we get to a certain point George will follow. But unfortunately he is very slow. So I'm gonna go off without him, let me light a flare, it's a little bit dark. You don't want to fall into the pits because that will be a fiery death for Lara. So making your way all the way to the end. Oh, I got lost. <laughs> there was a wall. So you don't need George to guide you through. But we do need him to open the door that's at the end. Here we are. Here's the end. And the door is closed. So we will need George to open it. So now we'll have to wait till he gets here. <laughs> Okay, here he is. Come on, George. Find the slimy dikes and destroy them. Awesome, so now the door is open to the last level. So, this area can be pretty confusing. It's quite mazy. So from here we've got a doorway in front and a doorway to the left. I will first go left. I will give you a tour of the area so it's not so confusing. So if we come in here we've got Clive. We've got a Clive. And he is the best marker to use in this area. So if you find Clive you can work out where you are. Also in this corner there is some ammo. We've not yet had a new gun, but we've got ammo here for a new gun. So let's have a look. This is nasty gun ammo. <laughs> it's actually revolver ammo. We're looking for a revolver and a laser sight, which is the objective to this last level. So continuing around, we've, don't forget Clive is only just behind Lara. Can't see him without moving, but he's there, I assure you. We've got this pit and we've got a closed gate here. So there's nothing to do here at the moment. So come back and through this doorway, you've got this door here, which needs an item to open it. You've got, so you can't really see from here. Let me, that doorway there, which is on the left 
of where I entered there. Actually, that's on the right. <laughs> uh, that is the door that I skipped when I said I was going left instead of straight on. So going through there brings us back to the start where we came in. In here, we can't do anything in here yet either. We've got two staircases and some spiked boulder traps. Um, you can shoot them and go up and have a look, but we can't do anything yet. So coming back out, got two doorways here. They lead both to the same area. Don't want you to get confused. So if we come this way, here we are. This is the room where we started. I was over in the corner and I took a left that way. So I will go back this way. So here we are, here's Clive. It is confusing the first time you play, you get used to it. And so there's seemingly nothing to do right now. So we want to actually jump into the water. In this corner, there is a gap that we can swim through. So we're going to come through here and really you want to continue round into the next gap there but I am just going to show you this room. So if we come over into this corner behind here we've got this doorway. Now this doorway does not open and you can see we've got a gem behind there. So while I'm here showing you stuff, I'll go get that. So to get that, there is another underwater passage here. Okay, so come out and you've got this gate straight ahead. And also in this room, you've got four giant heads. And if we go into our inventory, we can see that we've seen these before. These are what our secrets look like. Now we will place our secrets inside those dragon heads, which will open that door. But as we can tell, we still need another secret to be able to do that. So when we've got our fourth secret, we will come back to this spot later on. So you want to pick up that red gem that I've just got. That's uh, a dragon key. This is why I got confused in the, the first video. I kept calling things a red... No, I kept calling them a, a dragon key when that very first one was a ruby key. So now you just want to swim into this gap. It can be difficult to get into these gaps. There we go. And you can go straight on, but for now we want to take a left. So firstly, we're looking for the revolver. That is the first goal that I am going to show you. It doesn't matter which one you do first, but I will get the revolver first. So you want to run around this pillar and then press the back button. So jump up and press back so you can climb up here. And if we have a look down into this gap, you can just about see the revolver there. But we have no idea where that is. So we'll have to try and figure it out. On the opposite side of where I was standing there, just up here, there is some more ammo. So just grab that. And now we want to open that gate that's up there. And to do that, we've got a couple of buttons we need to press. So we've got one in front there and one behind that fire. The first one on the right turns off the fire and the one behind the fire opens the door. <laughs> so this is timed, so just press it and side jump. Press this one. And now that gate is open, which is not timed. So you do get plenty of time for that one. It's not difficult. Alright. Didn't mean to jump back. Okay. And in here, 
the goal is to open that door. So we've got a lot of running and jumping going on in this area. Okay, I often save here just because no reason really. So you want to do a running jump to this slope here and then grab this ledge. And the first button all we want, if I can remember where it is, yes, it's, no, it's, oh my goodness, I've forgotten. I think it's here actually, just, yeah, there it is, <laughs> literally right there. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm petty, so I'm going to reload. <laughs> Okie dokie, so I accidentally ran off the edge and I took damage, which isn't good enough. <laughs> so I just jump and grab into the gap. I don't like falling off and taking damage. <laughs> it frustrates me. So, what that button did was turn off the fire that's uh, by that button straight across the way there. So now we want to get to there. So you want to just do a standing jump and grab in the air so you can... Oh wow. Well, at least I'm safe. <laughs> so let me just climb back up again. Oh. Alright, took a few attempts to get up. So we are back on this block and we want to jump straight ahead to that gap. So just shimmy all the way along. This fire here won't harm you, so don't panic. Do not worry. So just keep shimmying around till we get to the button. Here we go. Oops. Button. So, what Matt did was raise the block that first block we were on so that's a lot higher now than it was but we need to get back to there so just come all the way back to where you jumped onto this uh, onto this gap crack in the wall and you see where it meets in the middle here just here you want to be to the left let's take another one <laughs> just for luck and then flip backwards. Oh, wrong one. So you press down to flip back and grab. And there we go. And I'll press down again and grab. So now we're even higher than we were. And again, we just want to jump straight forward into here. Now the next jump can be tricky to realise that you can actually make the jump. So what we want to do now, possibly save, and we're aiming for the edge. Oh, I didn't mean to go round, let me go back. So right here you can actually stand on this corner. So as long as you don't move around too much, you won't get set on fire. And then just jump to the gap and vault up to the next ledge. So from here, we're aiming for this slope. You can see the button over there. That's the one we're heading for. So it doesn't matter whether you go uh, forwards or backwards down the slope. I tend to go backwards so I can grab the edge. Because then you need to uh, climb up and then backflip and grab. So you want to grab this ledge. So you can come off forwards. I don't think it's too difficult. I've always just gone backwards. So now we're aiming for this ledge. Which actually is easier than it looks. You do want to veer. There we go. That was easy peasy jump. And here is the last button. Oh, 
Awesome. So now we can go through to that room. And the best way down from here is a swan dive. Nice. Okay. <laughs> So heading straight on in. So this can seem a bit confusing. You've got a doorway here with death water. Now the goal is to get to the other side there. And you can make a jump into a gap that you can just see straight ahead in the wall. I believe you can do that. I'm sure I've done that before. And then just jump over to that side but I will take the long route to show you what you should do. So you want to come to the right of entering the area instead of going straight on. And we will be going around. Okay, so you're first jumping to that gap. Okay. And just hop up here and shimmy around. Okay, next one on the right hand side. I believe you can do a standing jump, but because you get more air in a running jump, you're able to veer a lot easier. And another running jump from here. You can also do a half tile from there, doesn't really matter. Half tile jump is what I meant. And there is this random tile on the ground. Now that, as far as I'm aware, does not do anything. So you don't have to stand on it. I always end up standing on it when I run around the corner anyway. But as far as I'm aware, it doesn't do anything. So now you want to, whoops, nope, not do that. Grab this and hop down. So now we are on the other side. Let me try and show you. See the doorway there is where I was showing you where you can jump. So the gap you can jump to was there and there is a large med pack. So we are going over there to grab med pack. <laughs> med pack. <laughs> okay, and so just hop back over. And we've got an intriguing trap in here. You cannot jump over the spikes on the ground because they will impale you in midair. <laughs> so instead we want to wait for the fire to go out and then run around. You don't want to... S oh, that one lit. <laughs> so you don't want to step onto the fire. You want to be between the fire and... Oh, there we go. Between the fire and the spikes. <laughs> It's pretty simple. I don't often get killed here. So now in here just approach this door and it will open. Hop down. And this area I got quite stuck in the first time I played because I thought it was bugged. So coming over to here, you've got these two taller fires compared to those smaller fires in the other room there. So on the right hand side there's a large... nope, that's a small med pack. And on this side there is a torch. Mm -hmm. So you can assume we need to light the torch, we've got fire right here trying not to get too close because I believe she will walk straight onto there <laughs> and what we want to do with the fire now we want to make these flames bigger so we light these because this is what confused me because I assumed that um, it was bugged because the fire was already lit so I spent some time trying to work out where to put the flame but both of those activate something. We've got this block in the corner now so we can get back up to here and also that block that was on top of the pillar is gone so we've got a lever we can pull. Whoops, drag in. 
Boop. Climb. Come on, Lara. Okay, do a running jump to here. And because this is on an angle on this block, you want to drop so you can shimmy to the corner. And then you can use the lever. And that lowers the block to the next lever. So you might be able to see where this is going. So you want to run and jump to the gap here. So you're just making your way to the next lever. And this jump can seem tricky. So I will save. So run and jump. Oh, just made it. I couldn't pull up. So if you just grab the edge so you can't pull up, shimmy along and then shimmy back again. And we can see when we pull this lever, we cannot get to that other lever because it's covered in spikes. But that is just so it makes you um, go the long way round. It's making it harder for you. So what you do, you jump into this gap, make sure you grab in the air. So it's just making you go the long way round. So in this room, if you looked around, you may have noticed the monkey bars on the ceiling. So you want to grab the monkey bars. Follow it along to the end. Here we go, so just make sure you're facing forward and let go and grab. There we go, and now they have gone. The spikes have gone. So now we can hop onto here and use the lever. Because I, uh, I assume that is a jump you can make, so they just want to make it more difficult. So there we go, there's the last lever we've got access to now. So you want to jump into the gap there. You can see you can actually shimmy along here, so that's exactly what we're going to do. And now you just want to try and line yourself up for this jump. we go. Awesome, so that's raised a block but we have no idea where it is. But that's exactly what I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you where it is. So you notice the gate that was in front here, that is now open to give us an easy way out. And also there is this pit here. You may know where we are now. Look, it's Clive. So we are back here. And we want to jump back in the water again, into the gap. And also, if you're on the higher tiles, and she starts walking like she's in deep water, just jump up, and that will fix it. Okay, so back into the gap here. going round to the next gap and instead of going left this time we're gonna go straight on so we've not been here yet this is where the revolver is and here is the block that we raised so you just want to hop up and here we go mm -hmm. it's the revolver or, if you prefer, it's the nasty gun. So now, now we have the revolver, we want to find the laser sight. So just come back the way you came, all the way back to Clive. Remember the, uh, the red gem that I picked up in that other room? The dragon key. Oh, that's deep water, so she won't walk. Um, if you did not pick that up yet, you want to go and pick that up now. And here is where you want to place it. 
but I will be leaving that for the next video. I won't be placing it in this video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time. Take it easy.